Are you ready guys? Okay, this video, I don't know why people have been like anticipating it, but I've been kind of like holding off on it, okay? So in this story, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a little catch up, okay? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have no idea and you will not know what I'm talking about, you have to watch part one, which is hooking up with straight guys. I'll put the link down below. Watch that video and then you can come back to this one to get the tea. Seriously, like if you don't, you're, you're gonna be lost, okay? So girl, in this part of my life, we have found out that Helga Hogg was working at a bookstore. So remember my friend in part one, how I told you that he was like, oh, I don't go to bookstores. I'm holier, I'm holier than thou and I don't go to bookstores. <laughs> girl, she's been my friend for a good long time. Well, my friend had called me, the one that freaking lives at the bookstore, girl. Like, she'd be going at 12 at night and don't get out till 12 in the morning, girl. She had called me one day at 2 in the morning. She said, bitch. And I was like, what's tea, honey? She said, you won't believe who I just saw at the bookstore. And we'll just, we'll say the name's Emmanuel. And I, which is not, girl. But we'll just say, you know, yeah. Okay, the house, makeup seizure, okay? So I was like, you saw Emmanuel at the bookstore? She was, yes, ma'am. He's in one of the rooms right now with a, with a little tray with, with the guy, okay? And I was like, no, man. She's a preacher's son. She's a preacher's son. She says she doesn't hang around places like this, girl. She goes, mm-hmm. She goes, I saw him. He pulled up in a silver car. And him and the boy went, in, went to the bookstore and then went to the little rooms. And I was kind of shocked, girl. So I didn't believe it, girl. So of course, being an investigator of the world YouTube, before there even was YouTube, girl, I was investigating the house. I went over there, girl, put a little gas in my car, drove down a little bookstore, okay? And I went in there and I saw her, my friend, not Manuel, but my mother said, what's tea, girl, how's it going tonight? He goes, oh, same old tray, girl, same old tray, huh? I'm waiting for about three, four o'clock when the real tray comes, but to get ready to go to work, come by the bookstore, huh? <laughs> okay, so there I go looking around the bookstore, and then I see Emmanuel, girl. She was freaking shook, honey. She was shook that she saw me, and she pretended like she didn't even see me, girl, okay? Now, I have a picture of Emmanuel on my phone. So, Emmanuel left. And I went to the front of the bookstore where Helga the Hog was. And I said, Mira. And Helga the Hog was like, Que onda puta, que se la tienda maria. I asked her, have you seen this boy? She goes, oh yeah, I'll see Miss Thing. He's here all the time, girl. You know, she spoke very broken English, girl. And I was like, there he goes. Helga the Hog confirmed that she has seen him multiple times, okay? Well then... I wasn't sure if Emmanuel saw me or not. So I texted him and I said, girl, I said, are you in a silver car tonight? And he said, yeah, how do you know? And I was like, oh, I, it's because I drove by and I, I drove by on the freeway and I thought I saw a silver car. And he said, drove by where? Which then lets me know that in the bookstore, he saw me and must didn't know it was me. Or he must have been playing dumb and thinking that I didn't see him. So clock that house. Well, a couple weeks passed by, girl, and I finally caught up with Manuel again. And I told him, I was like, bitch, I said, bitch, if we're gonna be friends, we're gonna be honest, girl. I said, I saw your ass at the bookstore, girl. And she's like, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. I said, yes, it was. I saw you at the bookstore because my friend that was there saw you and my other friend that was there confirmed it. So you don't gotta lie and I'm not judging you, but I saw your ass at the bookstore. And then, so she was like, oh, I don't know. She still freaking denied it, the house, girl. How can you, like, you're like living in denial, okay? At this point, I was like, sure, girl. So I was like, you know what? Because he yeah, came over to my house, and I was like, let's go to the bookstore, then come on, let's go. I ain't never been, I ain't never been to the bookstore. Girl, lies the house. Go to the bookstore, girl. Guess what? Hell with the hog wasn't even there, okay? Tell me why. When we get to the bookstore, Emmanuel already knew what door to go into. Girl, I clock at the house. Those mannerisms, he and he already knew where to go and what the, what the tea is, girl. So I already knew at that point, girl. Well, I was more interested in trying to get the tea and what happened with Hell with a Hog, girl. So my friend, I keep wanting to say her name, girl. I, just, I don't want to slip up and say her name. My friend that, like I said, that practically lives there, that she goes in at 12 at night, don't get out at 12 in the morning, girl. And they're all night hooking up. 
I said, girl, where's her, where is Helga the hog? Where's she at, girl? They're like, oh, Miss Day, I gotta tell you the tea, honey. They fire her ass, girl. Helga the hog got fired, it's a big old scene. The police came and everything. I'm like, what's it? Okay, I was like, girl, tell me the tea, honey, tell me the tea. She said, girl, Helga the hog was working at the bookstore 40 hours a week, $7.50 an hour. Okay, I think that's like minimum wage or something. Girl, they said, literally, she would, she did a pretty good job working the door and stuff like that. But that whenever a sickening looking guy will come in there, like a, like a cute looking straight boy of the house, she would take his money and he'll go in there and she would run in there, girl. She would leave her post. She would leave the cash register and go in there and try to be the first one to get him, girl. Okay. Now they clocked it too many times and people kept reporting her ass to the boss so he finally caught her on the camera. And of course, people always wanna lie and deny, okay? But you know, they had her on camera, girl, multiple times and they said she would get out from the, little, from the rooms and there'll be a line of people trying to get in the bookstore, girl, the house, and not mention how many people just walk in there for free, okay? So they let her go and she denied, denied that she didn't do it and she was in denial of the house, made a big scene, called the police, had to get her escort off the premises and everything, girl. But that, the owner still allowed her to come to the bookstore, but she still had to pay, girl. She still had to pay her little $11 to get in, okay? He didn't let her slide for free, girl. So, but, so, but, but we had, but she wasn't there that night, thank God, because then no one would get any trade that night, girl. Well, girl, so back to Emmanuel, honey. She's in there, girl. She's working the room, honey. She's in the little bookstore trying to talk to all the boys at the house, girl. And then I was like, girl, once I got the tea and I already clocked the thing with Miss Emmanuel, girl, for some reason, somebody told me to get out. I felt like I literally had to get out of the bookstore. Like, you ever have a feeling that something bad is about to happen? I felt that. So, Miss Emmanuel drove us to the bookstore, girl. So, I was like, I texted Emmanuel and I said, I'm going to be outside. Which was kind of cold for like, I want to leave, but I should have said it, but I didn't. So, I go outside to the, to the car and I'm trying to get in the car, but it's locked, girl. I don't know why he locks the car. I mean, we live in a nice neighborhood, okay? So, we're standing by the car. I'm, st I'm standing by the car waiting in the house. And Miss Emmanuel taking a very long time. Girl, she's taking a very long time. Now, here's where it gets juicy, girl. Okay, well, apparently, there was a little Mexican boy that was inside the bookstore, and he was trying to, like, talk to people. Like, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And the other guys would be like, what's going on? And they'll go to the room, and then apparently, it's all, you know, my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. Clock it, girl. Well, apparently, the little Mexican boy, he would proposition. Once they were in the room, the door would close. He would say, You know what I'm saying? Can you spare me, spare me a couple of dollars? Well, girl, that's what that, that was her gig. Well, now, I don't know if it's true. She did it to the wrong person, girl, and they booked her ass, girl. It was an undercover cop. Mm-hmm, he was in there, girl. Yeah, undercover cop in there, girl, trying to catch the kids, girl. Well, the ones that are in there looking for money. You know what I'm saying? Now, there was this big debate, girl, huge debate within the bookstore community, girl. Okay, you're like, bookstore community, okay? That was it entrapment or was it legitly like an arrest? You know what I'm saying? So all I remember is the boy came out with the guy and I told him, man, I was like, we get a book of girls, something just went down, I know it. Girl, so Miss Manuel came out, we got in the car, and we left the house. Later on, got the tea. And ever since then, I was kind of shook. Ever since then, the kids don't be working the room like that no more. You know what I'm saying? They just be in there just trying to casual, a casual fling, okay? But it'd be, it'd be the girls that be in there trying to work the room for a little money that be trying, that I'm gonna be getting in trouble, okay? Now this, now that, that bookstore didn't allow the trans girls in there. You know what I'm saying? But ever since then, girl, I haven't seen Manuel, and I'm pretty sure I did, she's, she'll still deny that we were even there, and she'll deny, deny, deny. And I'm like, girl, look, okay, it's one thing, if you're gonna be in the damn bookstore, bear back in the house, okay, girl, no ma'am, this is nasty, girl. But there are another thing, if you wanna go to the bookstore and just, you know, who's up in here, if there's NFL players or lawyers or doctors, what's going on? You know, some people just like to see what's going on. There'll be other type of people who be trying to get in and be doing the do, girl, and then there'll be other type of people who be trying to work the girls for money. Emmanuel is a liar. 
She's in denial of the house. And I forever I will bring it, I will bring it up to her attention that she was there. And I have receipts that she was there multiple times and continues to so Emmanuel, if you are watching this video, which you're not gonna know I'm talking about you because I changed the name, because you know his name is not really Emmanuel, it's something else. Anyways, I don't wanna go any further because I'm a clock her T, huh? Well, if you ever find this video, no, I'm talking about you and that you're in denial and you just need to come out of the closet and stop being a preacher's son to hound and let them know what the T is. I'm pretty sure they will love you and everything. But you know, it be the preacher's son that be like the worst ones, girl. Because every preacher's son that I ever met, they be the freakiest ones, girl. The house. The ho I don't know what it is. They be the freakiest. And y'all know what I'm talking about, girl, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, Leave the number five. So I know you know what I'm talking about, okay? But to be the preacher's children, the preacher's son, preacher's daughter, girl, you think they're all innocent the house, girl? That Friday, Saturday, girl, they be at the bookstore the house, and on Sunday they be in the church, honey, okay? Acting all like they holier than now. I don't ever go to those places like that. Girl, bye! Your ass be the main one there, honey, okay? And like, and, you know, it may not be Miss Emmanuel. There's others. There's probably other people I don't even know about. All around the world, girl, okay? You know, if somebody told me that, it, statistically speaking, that it'd be mainly the preacher's sons that'd be all up in the damn bookstore, I will believe, oh, honey. Oh, honey. I will believe at the house, girl. They'd be the main ones. And anyways, I don't want to drag this video out any longer, but... Girls, there's a little, little portion of it, okay? So stay tuned for part three, which, you know, we'll dive a little deeper into the bookstore drama. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, you'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise down below, so check it out if you want. And I have music on iTunes, and I'll see you next video. Bye, I love you so much. Honey, 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 honey. My conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. Honey, 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 honey.